Welcome back to another Research Connection. Today I'm with Dr. Shelley Vaden. She is a professor in our Department of Clinical Sciences and she's going to talk about her research in chronic kidney disease in cats. So chronic kidney disease in cats is fairly common and it's also a progressive disease that can cause irreversible damage. What kind of research projects um, are you and your team uh, doing to address the problems that this disease creates in cats? Well, largely our um, clinical studies have focused on uh, progression or diagnostics or treatments. And right now we know that chronic kidney disease affects a large number of cats. And um, most of them are probably progressive, but not all. So uh, we're working in some biomarker research to help determine if we can see which ones progress and which won't, which don't progress. That's largely dogs right now. We're hoping that that would be transferred to cats down the line. And then with cats, we've done some studies that um, address, again, different factors associated with their disease. One of them is with anemia, and could we treat the anemia with a novel method? And then um, by treating that, they would feel better. And then the one that we're doing right now is looking at progression, where we're injecting a chemokine into the kidney to see if that can slow the progression of disease. And then chronic kidney disease can also affect humans as well. Is there a comparative link in your research um, between the different species and, and how the disease can affect each one? Anytime you um, have kidney disease in any species, there's a lot of similarities between one species to the next. So a lot of what we learn in cats could be applied to people and many of the ideas of how to manage the cats are brought from people originally. Of course, they're different species, so they have subtle differences, but certainly this um, chemokine work that we're doing could potentially be at least explored in people if we find that it's successful in cats. And then you've mentioned before in previous articles that the areas of urology and nephrology have kind of grown exponentially in the last 20 years or so. When it comes to internal medicine, how does progress like that in one area push progress in other areas? I think anytime you do research, it's based on a clinical question. And then if you move from that clinical question to answer it, it always opens up other questions. And the body's all interconnected. The kidney's connected to a lot of different organs. Um, for example, increased pressure in the body can affect the kidneys, eyes, brain, heart. Um, so again, certain studies will um, be linked because of those interconnections of the organ systems. And then also we sometimes find that if a drug works um, in one area, there'll be these off, um, so-called off-label effects that are beneficial and then those can be explored in the other areas too.